Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, December 29th, the last Search Buzz Video Recap of the year. Um, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Around Table over the past week. Uh, first up, may have been a, another Google algorithm update, specifically targeting more black hat web links types of things, specifically around unnatural links, PBNs, like public blog networks, um, other spam link techniques as well. Uh, there hasn't been much conversation, but there is definitely chatter around that, both in the black hat space as well as the white hat space, around there being an update. Um, the tools themselves didn't really notice this. This is probably happening somewhere around the 26th of December, well after the Maccabees updates, or group of updates. Um, Google, I'm not even going to bother asking Google about it. There's no point. I don't think they're going to comment about this at all. Uh, but there definitely does seem to be some type of a update that hit uh, the more of the black hat space of the SEO world. Um, so if you are in that space, definitely comment and let us know what you saw. Talking about the Maccabee update, it also seemed to <coughs> have uh, hit, maybe unintentionally, a lot of celebrity websites. So sites like uh, John Lennon's website, uh, Charlie Sheen's, LeBron James, Tom Cruise, and a lot of others. Uh, Glenn, Glenn Gabe did a, a pretty big blog post and he keeps adding to it um, different celebrity websites that were hit uh, significantly by this update, um, either intentionally or not. And he keeps updating it to show you, you know, what types of websites were hit before and after rankings and so forth, which is very, very interesting. I did ask Google about this, but they will not comment about this specific case or these specific cases because it's talking about specific websites, I assume. That being that, Google did say, spam, uh, Google did say that uh, they do hope to communicate in the future about larger algorithm updates. Google has been saying this for the, for the longest time. They've been saying this probably for a couple of years now. And they really don't. Although they did say, somewhat say that the last Maccabees updates uh, was minor and many. Uh, and that was obviously not a major update according to Google. But they did comment that there were updates around that time like they always do. Uh, but Je Danny Sullivan said, I hope that we'll be able to do so in the future. There are times when this can be useful to, for publishers and site owners to understand when these happen. Uh, we have typically done so for some of the past, and he, he does hope to do this so in the future. Uh, Google has promised, promised this in the past, uh, and I don't know if they feel like that we can actually handle the truth, to be honest. So uh, we will see uh, what happens in 2018. I do hope that in 2018 Google does communicate uh, more so in the future. Google said... Uh, SEOs don't really know if those unnatural links are working or not. Uh, they don't know if it's working for their own websites. They don't know if it's working for their competitors. So people complaining, oh, my competitors has all these unnatural links. Why is Google not penalizing them? The truth is Google now doesn't count them. Uh, since the Penguin update a year or so ago, whenever that happened, Google no longer demotes links. They just devalue them or they don't count them. Uh, and that means that you don't know if those links are helping your competitors or not. Uh, it's very interesting to see. Um, you know, how SEOs react to that because, you know, there's less communication and so forth. At the same time, there are a lot of SEOs who were upset that they, that they that Google penalized links like that. They said Google should just ignore them. And that's what Google's doing now. And now SEOs are upset about the reverse. And we knew this would happen, of course. Uh, Google said long-term no index uh, directives on your website will lead to Google not uh, kind of like a no index, no follow. Even if it's a no index follow, uh, Google, after a while, will stop you know, indexing that page, and thus they won't follow the links on those pages. Uh, John Mueller said this is a long-time uh, miscommunication or misunderstanding by a lot of SEOs, and that's the way it happens. So definitely take a look at that. Google said you should avoid using Google Tag Manager, GTM, for SEO experiments. There's too many variables, too many things, and within the SEO world, John Mueller said, um, Getting SEO reasonably right is hard enough without adding a layer of unpredictability on top of that. And that's what Google Tag Manager Trigger kind of does, which is very interesting. Google said showing schema just to, or structured data just to Googlebot and not having that in the HTML for users um, is just like cloaking. And cloaking is against Google's guidelines, so don't do that as well. Um, another Googler said that fetching content from a web website, another web, a third party website like routers or AP and stuff like that and publishing it on your own website has no value add. And then he actually linked to the Panda post from 2011. So if basically a financial site said, I want to go ahead and uh, take stories, fetch stories from routers and other you know news sources like many of our competitors do. And this guy from Google said, 
not going to really add much value to your website. Don't do it. And like, say, learn more about this at the Panda post that we wrote about in 2011. Very interesting. Google AdWords is testing a <coughs> couple of things. Um, similar looks. So if you go to a, do a search in Google, you click on a result like that, you go back, it will give you similar links to what you clicked on. And also, there's this easy checkout button that Google's actually testing as well, which is very interesting, um, and so forth. Google did confirm the easy checkout thing as well. Google is testing related search boxes in image search. Um, I never saw this layout before, but it kind of looks like the related searches um, in the web search. So if you do a search, sometimes you'll see this related searches box smashed or sandwiched in between the images in the mobile results. Uh, Google says they will keep their FTC commitments, their voluntary commitments that they had back in 2012, uh, around two things. One is allowing advertisers to use the AdWords API to export the data to other ad networks, like big ads can actually import from Google AdWords. And two, um, something around uh, allowing sites to opt out of having their content on a page-by-page -page or domain-by-domain -domain basis uh, from being shown in the search results, so like Yelp reviews being shown in Google's review section, uh, TripAdvisor reviews being shown in Google review section, and so forth. And Google's going to stay by that, not make any changes, they said. Although I'm a little bit fishy about or curious about what they're saying there. Google Maps added some new guidelines, according to Joy, uh, Joy um, Hawkins, around if current or former employees. Uh, it's under the conflict of interest section. It basically says, if you can see here, posting negative comments uh, content, posting negative content about current or former former employee experiences is against their guidelines in the review section, so don't do that. Um, and John Mueller, again, was active on Christmas um, Eve and Christmas Day, helping webmasters with their SEO and webmaster-related issues. He's done so for over 10 years on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's kind of like he's committed to doing that. And to do that, so on a day like that is very, very inspirational to me. Um, he should be off, but he knows there's actually webmasters and SEOs who have problems on that day, and they're very concerned, especially around the family season. Um, so he's actually there helping people, which is big kudos to him. And then we have our, you know, our uh, search community auditors post. And we, this week we honored four SEOs and, web, and SEMs this week. One is Matt McGee, um, Ray Hoffman Dolan. Joe Hall and Alina Solis uh, for all their contributions to the SEO community. So thank you very much. And that pretty much covers the Search Buzz video recap over the past week. Today again is Friday, December 29th. I am wishing everybody a happy, healthy, and successful 2018. And I'll see you guys next year. Everyone have a great weekend. Goodbye.